everyone, welcome back here to another video on the channel guys. So season 5 has gave us a lot of skins, but also not a quite a lot yet. This is why I'm making a top 3 on this video, because I feel like I don't want to flood you guys with a bunch of battle pass skins in order from worst to best or something like that. Anyways guys, let's just get right into it. So at our number 3 spot guys, we were going to have Monk and Hare. Monk and Hare is an awesome skin. He's got a lot of detail onto him in the modern day theme. Fortnite has brought in a lot of topics regarding ancient times and modern day themes, and this is one of the modern. I feel like this guy has so much detail on him, he's absolutely insane. Obviously, he's got this awesome gray and purple hoodie on him. He's got his nice hood up, and you know, people who complain about you know back of the heads don't really have anything to complain about with this skin. And he goes with so many back blings like the bright bag, the ominous orb, and the six string, and looks very good in game. Now, I will say that I do wish maybe a female had this type of hoodie on. I feel like this could have been a very awesome skin they could do for a female. But, honestly, it really looks good in-game with a male. And probably one of my more favorite male skins of the game. So, hey guys, let's get into our number two spot, which is going to be Redline. Redline is basically the male version's alternative for Burnout. So, the girl version of Burnout. It is an awesome skin. She's obviously got that red and black color theme going on with her awesome motorcycle helmet being red and black and awesome tattoos on her because with so many back blings, I already think a bunch, you know, maybe the red shield, the Twitch Prime back bling, love wings, looks great, incredible in game. I feel like the best part about this skin is the fact that, you know, it's just like you look at her, you think of the girl Burnout, and she's also she just has so much more detail, I feel like. Burnout, he's got this, you know, obviously he's got a nice leather jacket, and it's a very advertised skin for Fortnite, but I feel like, you know, her with her tattoos are just so more detailed and stuff. I, I just can't resist. I can't wait till I unlock her. I'm like a couple tiers away, and then I'm going to make a video on her. So insane. I actually did not even expect this at all from Fortnite. I love how they have, you know, their whole theme of the battle pass, but they also have some, like, off-theme characters and stuff like that, guys. So, yeah, let's get into the number one spot. So, number one spot, guys, is going to be Drift. Drift is a very creative skin. You start off with a, you know, normal, good-looking dude who obviously transformed into the real world, from the real world into Fortnite. And he kind of progresses, you know, obviously he gets his vest, and then he gets his mask, and he gets his robe, and it just looks so good in game. I feel like a lot of players do argue that, you know, maybe the robe is a little ridiculous in game, but you have so many other unlockable styles to kind of, you know, base off your stuff with. You can, you know, you can rock him with the basic one. You can rock him with the, the red vest on. That's, you can rock him with the red vest and the mask on. You don't even have to wear the robe. It is that's why he is so great. You get him as your first skin that you unlock, and I feel like he's such a great skin in game. He looks really good with so many back blings, so many combinations. This guy has so many colors on him that you could practically throw any back bling on him and get away with it. I see so many people wear the red shield, the black shield, and there's just so many different types of, you know customizations with this guy that's why i think he is probably at the number one spot you could argue that ragnarok could be up here but i do think ragnarok considering the fact that we haven't seen him fully leveled up in game yet is a little you know we don't know we've only seen the basic and like a little bit of upgrades in game and i feel like that is where we need to you know kind of justify it for later that's why i said this video for so far of season five if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like and subscribe we'll see you guys all later